Hey, you guys! I know, long time no gab. You haven't seen me since my weigh-in video last week. Anyway, I've not been feeling so fantastic this week. Woke up on Monday, went to Zumba, came home, and promptly got sick over my breakfast, unfortunately. Um, I've kind of made my way through my work week. Um, I didn't go to Zumba yesterday because I just was not feeling good still. I've had some issues with my immune disorder, and so my skin is a little bit mad at me right now. So that was difficult for working out yesterday. So I had to take an unwanted rest day, unfortunately. That happens every now and then, and it is all my fault. I um, had some caffeine this weekend. I had some a tiny, tiny bit of alcohol. And um, I had a annual craving for tomato, which I cannot have. And um, so I had two bites of my fiance's meatball sub. And needless to say, I am struggling with my skin. So it's one of those self-defeating things. Um, none of that stuff was not on my, was, you know, um, none of that stuff is banned from my plan. It's not like I went outside of, you know, my smart points or anything like that. But there are, are other things that I just cannot do for my own body and so it is what it is I am suffering a little bit this week for it um, but I enjoyed it I, I can't say that I regret it but um, and then I had this sinus crap so it's just been one of those weeks that's just like a, a triple punch in the face but I am back up and I am going to try to do some walking on the treadmill today because I don't want to miss my step goal today. We'll see how it goes. My skin is still a little tender and if it gets really bad, then I'll just stop. But I do not want to lose my momentum. I've had such great rem momentum. I've been doing fantastic with um, eating and fantastic with the exercise. So I just really want to continue to ramp up into the holiday season because I know I'm going to need it. So anyway, I'm going to get in here and get my workout in and I'll come back in just a little bit. See you guys later. All right, so here's my gym proof for today and here's my really too tight shirt, but I'm going to wear it until it's not too tight anymore. So I did it. I just got back. I just killed it on the treadmill. Super proud of myself on a week like this to get to the gym and kill it. I did about 34 minutes, something like that. And I feel good. I feel good. You know what? I'm so excited. After three weeks of exercising strong, like committed, not, I don't think, I, I think I've taken maybe two, three rest days in the last three weeks. I can honestly say I feel better now on the days that I do work out than the days that I don't. Um, yesterday, I couldn't help it. I wasn't feeling good, but I really missed it. I don't know if it's just the endorphins or just moving, but I'm finally getting to the place now where my body feels better in motion than sedentary. So I'm excited about that. I didn't get my step goal met. Excuse me while I just find my Fitbit here. Let me see what I did today. <laughs> um, I got, I doubt you can see that. It's kind of, um, uh, I did about 35 minutes, like I said, and I got... Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that, but it's like 44, 4,473 steps. So I have upped my goal, my step goal this week from 5,000 to 6,000. So I know what I was telling you on my weigh-in videos that is going to bump it up like 100 points a day or 100 steps a day. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I had a few days off, but I'm going to stick with the 6,000 range. So today... Yesterday was supposed to be 6,000, but today starts my 6,000. Tomorrow will be 6,100. Day after that, 6,200. If I miss a day, I just start from the day before so that I'm not hurting myself. I'm just gradually bumping up. One thing that I could tell on the treadmill today, I will tell you when I first started going back to the gym, 
um, I don't know, it's been maybe a month or so, or, or actually several months ago when I was on the treadmill, I, I couldn't even get to 3.0 as far as speed. It was like I had lactic acid, you know, that feeling like that burning feeling in your legs. And like, I had it all over my body. Like my body was like, nope, we don't work out. We don't do this. <laughs> right? Um, I had lactic acid everywhere. You guys, it is so, it just feels good to be in motion and moving. And I was, I started out at like 2.6 just to get started on my walk. And then very quickly bumped up to 2.8, 2.9 stayed at 3.0 for a good 10 minutes and then I bumped it up to 3.3 and I was able to breathe get a nice little rhythm and a pace and my fastest song I did two songs at 3.5 so that makes me so happy so very happy just to be able to do what I want to do in the gym and to, you know, to feel good about the movement that I'm able to make. So I don't want to make this long today. I just really wanted to check in and say hi, let you know what I'm up to. Um, if I could give you any takeaway or some thoughts to think about for yourself today is what is stopping you from committing to moving your body? If you are just getting started off or just getting started back like me, then I, I hope that you'll maybe take some of the tips that I've been sharing lately. Start small. Please don't jump in and like try to kill yourself. You will not continue. That is the reason. I know for me, I am a very um, spontaneous and blue sky thinker. Like I just think I can conquer the world and then... Doo -doo -doo -doo! right it just it, it's over really quickly so I am really trying my best this time to just be sane about <laughs> about everything just not overdo it not bite off more than I can chew to listen to my body um, when it tells me that it's had enough like yesterday I, I so badly wanted oh I need to tell you I was so down yesterday because I couldn't go to Zumba and I really really wanted to um, because crazy brain Tracy that gets so obsessive about things. Um, I didn't want to miss a class. I wanted, you know, to keep my, you know, streak. So I couldn't go. And one of the girls from my class, she texted me and she said, miss seeing you, but, um, wanted to let you know that in the middle of class, we started smelling this obnoxious sewer smell and had to stop class. So I think, isn't that crazy that things work out like that? So that kind of made me feel better that I didn't drag myself and, you know, feeling awful and put on my clothes and all the rest of that stuff and then end up not really being able to complete the class. So anyway, it's funny how those things work. But anyway, be encouraged. Think about those things that you can do for yourself to start small. Stay small until your body says we can do more. Listen to your body. Don't try to kill yourself. For me, if I do too much, I get sick. I get literally sick and so listen to your body when it's saying I'm extremely tired listen to your sore muscles sore is good sore is good sometimes you can push through but there's a place past sore that is like okay now you need a rest day so listen fuel your body with good foods you cannot do great workouts fueled on candy and garbage so if you're gonna work out and if you're gonna commit to it then make sure that you're giving your body some great proteins and some some good fuel that it can use so all right I hope this helps I hope you're doing great I hope you see my face a little bit more um, I've missed talking to you guys and communicating I've tried to get around to your channels and this week while I was not feeling so good hope I've checked in with most of you guys um, but definitely let me know if there's anything that you want me to check out or watch or whatever and as always you can always find me over at Instagram um, even more so than here so I'm trying to get back here as much but um, the, uh, the way I see it over at Instagram too. All right. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this little chat about exercise and the way I see it, please take a moment to like comment and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the bell. I'll see you tomorrow.